hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl adriana dc so as you guys see from the title of this video tonight i am going to be giving you all the fragrances in my collection that have similar vibes now this is actually a tag it's not a tag it's a video that i saw a few youtubers actually do i saw saki london sally maria and i think amy glam actually did this video and i felt it was very interesting so i want to give you guys you know um my version of this video. so basically what i'm going to be doing is recommending or highlighting all the fragrances in my collection that have similar vibes to you know the other which in my opinion it's pretty much inevitable when it comes to a youtuber who you know either collects fragrances or anybody who likes fragrances and have quite a collection i mean there's only so many scent profiles there is out there so yeah i do find that as of recently i have a few fragrances that have a similar vibe to the other so if you like one of them most likely you will like the other if you've smelled one of them most likely you have an idea of how the other will smell so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing you know my take on this video and the fragrances in my collection that i personally think have similar vibes then by all means keep on watching if you guys are new here please do hit that subscribe button make sure to hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and without further ado let's just dive right into the video so the first two fragrances in my collection that i personally think have similar vibes are chanel number no. five law and lanta deed by Givenchy. now i actually included these two fragrances as a layering combo in my um my layering combo video that i did a couple months ago and the reason being is that both of these fragrances are actually white floral woody fragrances now as you guys know lanta did by Givenchy, this is your intensely woody sweet white floral jasmine and tuberose scent okay it does have some citrus elements in this fragrance okay yeah so you get a slice you get slight citrusy elements you definitely get the bergamot in the top of course and you do get those you know white floral touches of course that's what's starting in this perfume the jasmine and the tuberose a lot of sweetness and the dry down you know it has that strong somewhat earthy or uh, woody essence to it in the base now chanel law by i mean no chanel number no. five law on the other hand is a more lighter a bit more area and citrusy version of i would say the scent profile of the lanta deep now by no means are these fragrances dupes for each other but they definitely do have similar vibes now i have never heard anybody complain about you know how strongly woody the lanta deep by Givenchy is i do think it's quite attractive it makes the fragrance really be more beautiful but this one is a softer a lighter version you definitely pick up the elements of the lemon and the bogomat that, that's in the top of this fragrance and you do pick the you do get you do pick up the florally touches in the heart of this perfume okay yeah you definitely get you definitely get similar vibes with these fragrances but again that lemon and the bergamot is shining through in this one in particular there's also some elang elang and neroli so you don't have the tuberose so this one is a bit more it is not as dense as the lanta deed it's a bit more sharper a little bit more area but definitely a softer white florally woody fragrance that definitely gives me similar vibes to lanta deed so yeah very sophisticated very classy the dry down it for the chanel number no. five law it goes slightly a bit more woody as it begins to dry down but what you get is the essence of you know those woody touches in this perfume it is not as prominent as in the lanta di Givenchy. well it varies because i have heard some people say that you know the woody touches in this perfume is a bit more prominent for them but for me the, there's just a woody aura to this one in particular but definitely you know these two fragrances have similar scent profiles and they're both absolutely beautiful white florally woody fragrances that happen to be extremely classy and very much beautiful so this is channel number five law and lanta deep by Givenchy. so the next two fragrances in my collection that definitely give me similar vibes are narciso rouge and roberto cavalli um paradiso azuro now i recently acquired the paradiso azuro and as i sprayed it um 
okay i didn't really get similar vibes in the opening but in the dry down so after playing with this perfume for a couple days i realized that this fragrance definitely reminds me of something you know that i already have in my collection and you know i couldn't quite put my hands on it because i would say that you know this fragrance has similar vibes to one or two perfumes from the narciso rodriguez range okay but yeah for me yeah so this perfume here this opens up quite sweet you definitely get those florally touches in this perfume you definitely pick up some citrus elements in the opening of this fragrance and as it dries down you pick up that tuberose the tuberose is very prominent in this fragrance and of course in the base you have your woody touches i think there's also some jasmine in here as well okay and that's pretty much what you get a sweet somewhat citrusy okay there are quite a few notes in here lavender tangerine peach there's quite a lot of fruity notes going on in this perfume but for me i just pick up slight citrusy elements with those florally touches in this perfume and i pick up the musk and the tuberose as this fragrance dries down now when this perfume dries down it's a lot more um again this perfume comes off like a fresh sugarless tuberose musky scent that's what you get in the dry down okay and then the Narciso Rouge pretty much gives me similar vibes. It opens up with those florally touches to the top. Again, this perfume has in your Bulgarian Rose. Both of them opens up with that rosy note to the top, okay? Yeah. So both of these fragrances, they have rose in the top note, tuberose in the heart, and some woody elements in the base. And they're both quite musky, all right? Now, these are two beautiful scents, but they definitely give me similar vibes, okay? I don't even know where these okay they are not dupes for each other i would say the only difference is that um with the narciso rodriguez it opens up with that um soft florally musky um fragrance it has a bit of sweetness and it starts off that way and it ends off that way with this one this one opens up a little bit more sweeter because of the fruity yeah a little bit more sweeter and I think there's some ylang, ylang in the heart. There's also, you know, there's a lot more going on, cypress and stuff like that. But what really stands out is those floral touches in the top, you know, those citrusy elements, or should I say those fruity citrusy elements in the opening. And of course, the tuberose is standing out a whole lot in this perfume and it's dried down. You do get those musky elements. For me, these two fragrances definitely give me such similar vibes there is like i would say it's just the musk because of how outstanding the musk and the powdery elements is the only thing that kind of gives you a different feel so both of these fragrances give you similar vibes but a different finish if that makes sense so this is narciso rouge and this is Roberto Cavalli Paradiso Azzurro. Oh my God, these names are so long. The next two fragrances in my collection that definitely give me similar vibes is Tom Ford Noir and the Mystio Le Parfum. And I think I highlighted that to you guys, you know, when I hauled the Tom Ford fragrance. Now for me, when I smell this fragrance here, this, yeah, this is a sweet, warm, ambery, spicy, spicy smelling perfume there is um i think there's some rose and vanilla in this perfume as well but overall you definitely get that the spiciness in this fragrance and i think there's some orange some bitter orange in the opening okay so for me what i pick up most is the bitter orange from the ginger in this perfume and of course the amber the amber is very prominent quite spicy but the amber is definitely hitting you there. It's definitely hitting you. And the spices in it kind of like um, accentuate the amber in my opinion. Okay. Now, when it comes to the Mistio Le Parfum for me. Okay. All right. These perfumes more or less open up very similar. Okay. Very, very similar. So this one does not have bitter orange, but it does have that mandarin essence in the opening. It also has the rose. There are some spices in this perfume. I can't remember what spices exactly is in this perfume, but this is a warm, spicy, rose and amber smelling perfume. Now, these two fragrances are absolutely similar. Like when I mean similar, the only thing that sets it apart for me is that 
Oh, I'm afraid to put this on me. This is such a strong perfume, right? <laughs> Literally afraid to afraid I'm even this time of the night because I'm filming in the night. But yeah, the only thing that sets these two fragrances apart is that extra spiciness that's in this particular perfume. The bitter orange in the opening combined with the ginger just give this perfume a tiny hint more of spices but the rose is more prominent in this one now both of these fragrances have been rose but the rose is, is shining a lot more in this fragrance but overall the body of this fragrance of these two fragrances the opening of these two perfumes is exactly the same the dry down is more or less the same now i'm not gonna call them dupes of each other but they are more or less 95% if not 98% completely similar okay I would say that despite Tom Ford known to have quite a kick this is a softer fragrance in comparison to this one they are not harsh so to speak but this one definitely packs more of a punch than the Tom Ford Noir, you guys. So this is Tom Ford Noir and Mystio Le Parfum. The next two fragrances in my collection that definitely give me similar vibes are Kylie Diamond Pink Peppers and So Al Shayla by Swiss Arabian. Now, both of these fragrances, of course, have that Middle Eastern vibe. But the scent profile of these two perfumes is pretty much the same now i do know that the kayali elixir is um a lot more closer in scent when it comes to Ashela, but both of these fragrances do have similarities as well now they both have in rose they both have in those spicy elements okay they also have in amber vanilla and patchouli in the base of these perfumes the only thing that sets these fragrances apart is that this one of course is a bit more sweeter that's about it this one is a bit more sweeter and this one is a bit more powdery and a bit a little bit more um I would say the oud in this one gives it a different vibe, a slight different vibe. However, people do say that this fragrance does give them oud vibes. I I am inclined to agree with that. You do get slight oudy presence in this fragrance. For me, I think I think it's a combination of the saffron. I think there's the pink peppers and the bergamot that's given off the same effect as the oud is given off in this particular perfume. But overall, both of these perfumes have been rose. They both have been vanilla. Both have been amber and patchouli. And there's some musk in this one as well. But overall, you get the same, like more or less, you know. Once again, they're not exactly dupes, okay? This one does give me slight soapy vibes as well. Slight soapy vibes, okay? And like I said to you, it's a bit more fresher. It is not as sweet and it comes off a lot more powdery, okay? But you definitely get the spicy touches in this perfume. You definitely pick up the oud, okay? So that's the Swiss, the So Al Shayla by Swiss Arabian and the Diamond Pink Pepper. Again, yeah. Just the amber. So the amber and the musk and the patchouli is amped up in this perfume. That's it. The amber, the musk, and the patchouli. And again, the sweetness is amped up a little bit more. And this one, again, even though they don't list oud for this one, this one comes off. There is something in here for me that I describe as a little bit metallic. It is given off a metallic vibe in this perfume. And I'm guessing that's the same thing, you know, that other people pick up when they smell, you know, um, when they say they smell oud. I'm thinking that's what it is. But overall, you get absolute similar vibes with this perfume. So if you like, if you like this one, you're definitely going to like this one. So, you know, just in case you guys were a little bit scared to dive into Swiss Arabian fragrances, especially those with the ones with oud, you're pretty much getting a similar vibe. In my opinion, you know, this is not, you know, that risky especially if you have tried the kylie diamond pink peppers so that's that one the next two fragrances in my collection that have similar vibes is ysl intense libra intense and angel shares by killian now these two fragrances i also included in my layering combo that i did you know the video that i did a couple months ago again both of these perfume give me slight similar vibes now i personally think that this one comes off a little bit more masculine because of the lavender i'll know why i said libra intense of course this has in your lavender 
Um, it does have some mandarin as well, some bergamot, so some citrusy touches in this perfume. Okay, you definitely get the um, the musk. There's some musky elements in this perfume. Got the orange blossom as well. There's vanilla and tonka bean. Okay, and even though the notes lineup does not list amber, I want to say I pick up slight presence of amber in this perfume. Okay, yeah. This is a beautiful, eerie, um, lavender, prominent, citrusy, um, musky smelling perfume. But it comes off a little bit more deeper, a little bit more sensual, which is why I definitely think that there is amber in this fragrance. And then, of course, we have Angel Shears, which, of course, opens up with your cognac. You have your cinnamon, vanilla, and tonka bean, and some woody touches in here as well. And likewise... Fragrantica also lists that this perfume has an amber, which in my opinion, I am not surprised at all. For me, I'm getting similar vibes. I'm thinking the cinnamon, the spices um, reacting with the cognac in this perfume. I'm thinking I'm getting a similar vibe from the bergamot and the mandarin in this perfume, the bergamot, the mandarin, and the lavender. So for me, I definitely get similar vibes with these with these two perfumes. The only thing I would say is that the cinnamon is very prominent in this one. So the cinnamon comes off. Um, there is the, the cognac in this perfume. Of obviously, obviously, it's standing out quite a lot for me overall. I definitely get similar vibes with these two perfumes. And like I said to you guys, I actually recommended this puff, these two fragrances as um, a beautiful layering combination. I would say this just makes the Angel Shares a bit more masculine in my opinion, a bit more stronger. But I would say overall, this one just has a slight bit more edginess to it because of the lavender. And this one comes off a bit more spicier. A little bit more, um, you know, um, I would say the cognac or the cinnamon touches in here. Just, it really, really shines in this perfume. But overall, these are two beautiful fragrances. They definitely give me similar vibes, you guys. So this is Waisa Libra Intense and Angel Shares by Killian. Next, we have Vel by Tiziana Terenzi and Angel Ice and Angel Eau Croisier by Killian, you guys. Now, both of these perfumes have a very beautiful prominent fig note in the opening that's definitely shining so in my opinion if you love fig both of these perfumes would be just absolutely life for you guys now we all know um the angel au Croisier. this one is your um your fig there's some praline some vanilla in this one i think there's some magnolia as well the fig in this perfume has a lot of character it is sweet it is syrupy it gives you slight citrusy vibes a hint of creaminess to it this is just an absolutely beautiful smelling perfume yeah and that fig note, oh my God, it is so syrupy, so juicy, and so sweet, you know. And then you get very slight creamy touches, but you get more of that magnolia essence to it. So it's not that milky at all, but slight, yeah, slight creamy essences to this perfume. But the fig, absolutely beautiful in this perfume. Now this one on the other hand, okay, this one is not as juicy as the... um. It is not as juicy as the Angel Eau Croisier. Yeah, but that fig note again. So you definitely get that prominent fig note, which again also has quite a character. It is sweet. It is creamy. But this one comes off a little bit more milky. Um, has slight earthy touches in this one. Okay. It doesn't get as sweet as the other one. It's not as juicy. But the fig once you know if you guys can appreciate fig in your fragrances i would say these two perfume definitely give me similar vibes yes. you are just getting a lot of fig in both of these perfumes but i'll tell you you guys fig is such a beautiful note at least for me i don't know about you guys but definitely if you can thoroughly enjoy you know that fig note in the angel or crozier this perfume right here, Vel by Tiziana Terenzi, would be an absolute joy to smell. An absolute beautiful addition to your collection. So, if you definitely like this one, you most likely will enjoy.
this one. So the next two fragrances in my collection that definitely gives me similar vibes are Moschino Thai Bai and Rose and Ice by Killian. Now, if you guys saw, you know, when I had this fragrance, I definitely highlighted to you guys that for me, this fragrance more actually gives you, you know, what comes to mind when you think about roses and ice, okay? So, Thai Bai by Moschino, this is your spicy, woody, rose, um somewhat leathery smelling perfume but overall what you do get from this fragrance is a yeah a somewhat sweet juicy spicy rose woody smelling perfume i think there's some amber in here as well you definitely pick up the amber you get the spices but the peer in this perfume is come the peer combining with the rose is come off juicy it's a nice sweetness, just right, not too much sweetness in this perfume. And again, it has the vetiver and the sandalwood in the base. And I would say I'm getting slight leathery touches. But for me, when you think about roses and ice, this for me is what comes to mind. Now, the roses and ice on the other hand is a much more, yeah, a much more, right. So this one just comes off softer. I want to say the cucumbers in this one, in my opinion, I'm getting similar vibes from the rose and the peel in the Moschino Thai Bai. So for me, this comes off a little bit more fresher, a little bit more eerie, a bit more juicy. Of course, the spices. So this comes off a lot more refined than the Moschino. It's a lot more refined, a bit more fresher. For me, this is a stronger, more heavier somewhat woody version of roses and ice both of these perfumes smell just alike i would say and if you can appreciate rose and ice you can definitely appreciate moschino Thai by and of course voice Vodsa. so this is rose and ice by killian and Thai by by moschino and last but by no means least we have kayali utopia and of course holidays by mancera now when i reviewed this fragrance right here i highlighted to you guys that this perfume definitely gives me holiday vibes i mean it gives me holiday vibes literally and figuratively speaking okay so uh, for for the utopia this is a soft um florally powdery um coconutty smelling perfume okay you definitely get the gardenia i think there's yeah, there's some gardenia in the open of this perfume, honeysuckle, there's some pear, coconuts in this perfume. But overall, this is a soft, somewhat musky, powdery, delicate, white floral fragrance with the essence of coconut. There's some milky touches in this perfume. Absolutely beautiful smelling fragrance. Now, the Holidays by Mancera, again, this gives me, yeah, tropical, florally, coconutty musky vibes okay the musk in here is not that prominent i would say it's quite smooth i definitely think there are slight woody elements in the base of holidays as well but for me i think there's some elangilang in here you pick up you know the elangilang that tropical essence from the florals in this one in particular it is not as soft and delicate as the um the white florals in the utopia but you definitely get the slight florally touches in here i want to say the coconut in here is a lot more dense it is dense and somewhat syrupy and sweet but not as milky as the utopia because i think the utopia has in coconut milk so it comes off a little bit more coconutty but in my opinion these two fragrances definitely give you similar vibes absolutely similar scent profiles i want to say you get more or less a similar if not the same scent but a different finish okay so this one this is fluffy it is powdery it is florally it is a milky very delicate and pretty scent this one is a bit more dense and a bit more syrupy and the floral touches is downplayed a little bit but both of these perfumes are absolutely beautiful and definitely give you similar vibes and if you absolutely love Matsara holidays utopia you're gonna absolutely love this baby right here so there you have it you guys these are the fragrances in my collection that definitely give me similar vibes so if you guys are definitely vibing with one of them you will most likely be into the other 
so yeah i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video if in fact you did please do give me a thumbs up if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who have been supporting me thus far i truly appreciate you guys so yeah please do continue to support your girl okay <laughs> and yeah obviously see you in my next video bye <laughs>